Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in my last video where I unboxed Isabel and Nikki, I asked you guys what dolls you'd like to see them compared to, and I got quite a few answers, and I'm really excited to do that. So before I get started, make sure to check out my shorts tab on my channel because most of my energy that when it comes to YouTube has been going into shorts. So I've been putting out quite a few and I've really been having fun. So make sure to go check those out and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already and join the family. And then comment down below um, which twin you guys like better or if you got either of them or both of them or how you kind of feel. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So the first doll that I got a ton of comments asking me to compare Nikki to is Grace, Girl of the Year 2015. And I agree because when I saw Nikki for the first time, I felt like she was a perfect mix of Grace and uh, Joss. And so I really wanted to see them next to each other. And I had a couple comments asking about their eye color and I was curious about it too because I really haven't put anybody together until now. I wanted to wait and really talk to you guys about it and see it at the same time. So um, as far as these two girls, I definitely think that Grace has lighter blue eyes. I think that Nikki has a little bit darker. Um, for the purpose of this video, I made sure that everything else in this room except for my ring light are basically off so that I get the best color accuracy. And as you guys can probably see, Grace's eyes are quite a bit lighter. Um, I think in terms of hair color, they do have a pretty similar hair color. I think Nikki's is a little bit more on the reddish side, but it's not like she has red hair. It's kind of like a very subtle red. And of course, uh, Grace has bangs and doesn't have the light streaks in front. And they have a different mold, but I do feel like they have a very similar vibe and they do remind me of each other. And so I think, you know, if you were unable to get Grace or maybe there was a reason why you didn't like Grace, but you really like Nikki, I think, Maybe that's the right call for you guys if you are interested. Um, I do prefer Grace's eye color. I think the lighter blue is just a little bit prettier, but I think that AG doesn't tend to use that color anymore. So when they do talk about light blue, they generally do mean Nikki's color now, but it did used to be lighter. So I don't know if that helps you guys, but that's comparing Nikki and Grace. All right, and then the next dolls that I wanted to compare are Nikki and Joss because she does have the Joss mold. Um, I also am going to compare Isabel to Joss, but I'm gonna do it separately so you guys can see the difference. But I would say these two, other than their face molds, really share close to no similarities. Um, they do have a slightly similar hair color, but I would say again that Nikki's is slightly more reddish. I definitely feel like she is a really soft redhead. Um, you look at her and you think brunette, but then when you compare her to any other dolls with brunette hair, you're like, oh, her hair is kind of reddish. So it's really pretty, obviously. Um, but other than that, I really don't feel like Joss and Nikki share a lot of similarities. Obviously, Nikki has the new face makeup and also um, new eyebrows, and Joss has the old style um, eyebrows and also, you know, no face paint. So, I mean, she has face paint, but not eyelashes and stuff. You guys know what I mean. So these two, I feel like really don't share many similarities. Obviously their eye colors are different, but I did want to compare, you know, every time that I get a doll that has a mold that hasn't been used too often, I always want to compare them to the original doll with that mold, just to see how much it's like varied and kind of changed. And obviously the mold is very similar. I don't see any like changes in that way, but I do think that, you know, overall the dolls are very, very different. So if you have one, you can definitely have the other. The other thing I really wanted to show you guys was I noticed with, so Nikki is on the left, um, and then Isabel, the old girl of the year, is on the right. They have very, very similar hair. They have the same like shininess to it. It's the same texture, the same length. Pretty much everything is the same except for where the part is and then also the color. So I would say that if you missed out on Isabel, like the girl of the year from 2014, or you you know really love her hair and you want another doll with that hair, I think that Nikki is a fantastic option because her hair is so soft, stunning, and unlike some recent dolls that have come out in the Truly Me line, I really do feel like these two dolls, their hair is super high quality and like just really gorgeous. So I have nothing but like praise for AG for these two dolls. I know that not everyone likes them, but I think they're a breath of fresh air and I'm really excited. The last thing I really wanna point out about Nikki um, is her eye color. So I said that she had quite a bit lighter eyes than um, Grace, but what I will say is that she and Courtney have exactly the same color eyes. So if you have Courtney, um, it's the same color as her eyes. Um, Courtney has kind of a darker eye color. I don't know that it's as dark as Kit, but it definitely is a lot darker than the traditional light blue American Girl eyes. So they do have the same eye color. It looks a little different on camera. Let me see if I can zoom in and show you guys a little bit better, but um, you know, the framing around it makes all the difference. Obviously, since Nikki's got eyelashes, it makes her eyes look a little bit bigger, um, but it is the same eyes. So when it came to comments about these dolls, hands down, the majority of the comments were asking for comparisons with Isabel. So Isabel's got quite a few more dolls I'm gonna show her with because obviously, 
there's a lot more to Isabelle in terms of like eye color, hair, length, and stuff. Like there's a lot of dolls to compare her to. So um, the first doll I wanted to compare her to, like Nikki, is Joss. Um, so this is Joss and Isabel together. And like I said with Nikki, they really share no similarities other than the face mold. Um, and even then, I don't think that if I wasn't like a super hardcore AG collector, I don't think I would even recognize that they had the same face mold because their face paint is very different, their eyebrows are different, and it really does kind of mask the similarities of their face molds. So another doll that I really wanted to compare Isabel to was Felicity. Unfortunately, Felicity is in kind of like a precarious situation right now. She's squished between two dolls, and I think if I pull her off, they're all gonna tumble. But this is my most recent doll. This is Rose. She's uh, just like you number eight, and she has exactly the same eye color as Felicity, and she was already on the floor. So I thought, let's just do her. They have the exact same eye color, so let's just roll with it. So I am shocked, guys. They have very different eye colors. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys in just a minute, but this is kind of crazy. Like, Isabel definitely has more yellowy eyes. Like, hers are more vibrant than Felicity's, which is crazy because Felicity is like the poster child for vibrant green eyes. So, Isabel kind of has her beat in that situation. So, I'm going to zoom in on both of them so you guys can kind of see because it's kind of hard. But I think you kind of can see that they are different and that Isabel's are a lot brighter, more like limey green. Okay, guys. So, here we go. Super zoomed in. Um, I couldn't go any more zoomed in than this because unfortunately if I put them closer together they're at different uh, closenesses to the camera and then one of them is out of focus. So anyway, bear with me here. Um, you can definitely see the difference. I think it's really pretty. I love both eye colors. Like I am obsessed with Felicity Green. Isabel does not have Felicity Green. Sh green. She has Isabel Lime. Like this is very bright. It's still the decal eyes where it's not um, pinwheel. So. If you don't know what that means, basically the decal eyes just mean that there's, it's like painted on. It's kind of like a sticker inside the eye. Long story short, um, very different eyes, but similar vibes. And I think if you weren't comparing the two, you probably would think they're very similar. And I love them both. So I want to know what you guys think. I know some people think they're creepy. Honestly, when I look at Isabel, I think of dragon eyes, which I kind of love. I kind of love that. That's really fun. So I love that they're experimenting with eye colors, that they're getting a little bit unique and exciting. And I always love to see it, new eye colors. And I hope that they start to dive into the blues again, because like I mentioned with Nikki, they've definitely kind of like darkened the blue eyes. And I want to see more vibrant, bright blue eyes. Another doll that was highly requested to compare them to is Isabel and Isabel. So Isabel on the right is the girl of the year from 2014. And the Isabel on the left is obviously the new historical. So I really think these two, I mean, it's so weird to me that AG not only chose the exact same name for two dolls with just slightly different spellings, but that they also picked the same like basic colors for them. Like obviously they're very different tones of those colors, but they both have the same skin tone. They both have blonde hair and greenish eyes. So I think it's kind of weird. I'm questioning the choices, but honestly, like I've said before, I changed their names anyway, so it doesn't really bother me. I just think it's interesting. So um, as far as these two, you know, you see it like it is. I mean, honestly, Isabel on the left has much lighter hair. She does have a lot of um, highlights and it has more dimension. And Isabel on the right, her hair is a lot more shiny, sleek, and long, but it's all one color with like very subtle highlights. Um, and then their eye colors are different. So we talked about Isabel having kind of like very bright, limey green eyes where um, Isabel on the right, this is getting confusing. Isabel on the right has like hazily eyes. So yeah, I mean, they both have different face molds too. So in terms of hair length, Isabel has a very similar hair length to Truly Me 64. I would say it's not like super short, like number 40 has shorter hair. So I would say it's on the shorter side in terms of like the medium length, but it's also definitely not as short as I thought it was when I first saw them. I think like if you were to see a Truly Me 53, which by the way, a lot of people wanted to see that. I don't have that doll. Um, I do think I will eventually, so maybe someday when I get 53, I'll compare these two, but I would say that she does have longer hair than that. She also has the layers in the front, so there is some differences there. You know, in terms of length, it's a really good length for beginners. I think, you know, if you're into styling hair, but you don't want to do anything too complex, you're not looking for like super long hair, you want something kind of low maintenance, but pretty, I think this is a really good doll for you because she's really unique to me. I don't think I've seen a doll that looks like her. I love her new eyes. Like I just, I'm so stuck on that. I think they're so pretty. And the hair length, like I said, really fun. It's easy to manage. It's not so short. You can't do things with it, but it's short enough that you probably we won't get like two crazy tangles in there. So exciting news, I am going to the American Girl Play Chicago soon and I do want to do another vlog because every time I've gone since I came back into YouTube, I've been doing vlogs whenever I go. 
So I'd really like to do that again. I want to know what you guys want to see though. Like, do you want to see like the overall layout of the store? Or do you want me to focus more so on the dolls? Which dolls do you guys want to see? And then which doll do you think I should get? Because if I'm going to the American Girl store, I'm going to get a doll. It's got to be one of the new Truly Me's because I have all the historicals and the girl of the years. So I want to know which doll you guys think I should get. Also, go check out my shorts like I said before, and when I hit 4,000 subscribers, probably later this year, like probably like late fall if it happens, I will be doing another 18 inch doll giveaway. So if you guys want to get a brand new American Girl doll, make sure to subscribe and help me to my goal of 4,000 subscribers and then that will happen. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't and join the family and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.